Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to fix one error which comes with the VM player on uh, on Linux. Uh, the problem is that each time when you are updating the kernel or on the first time use, you are going to be blocked by an error. So VM player will not uh, will not start. Let's have a sample on this error. So if I hit VM player. I can see that you need to uh, I can see this message saying that you need to install several modules which is really cool let's try to do them it asks for your sudo password but uh, usually this command fails yeah and um, some time ago I wrote an article about this uh, issue because um, it was very very uh, problematic for me and uh, you get um, the most of the steps uh, correctly here in the original article but it seems that right now it still doesn't uh, doesn't work so there seems to be a problem uh, because uh, when you are going uh, to uh, run this command and i have run it into this terminal let's run it again to see so we will get a strange error when compi compiling so what happens is that the vm player was updated somehow to a newer version and it's uh, something uh, going on uh, in uh, in there in with the modules that i already have practically i have downloaded uh, so i have a work folder with the host modules right right here and this is the latest that i'm using and uh, you know these host modules they come from uh, from a uh, dislocation right and uh, it seems that right now that they have been updated so if we go to the same uh, github page we can see these modules have been um, not very recently but uh, they have in uh, this version this 17.5.1 and uh, me i do have also in my article but also on uh, on my uh, work folder i have 17.5.0 so there seems to be an uh, an outdated uh, version over there but um, let's uh, see if we can fix uh, fix this so pro the problem is that we have this error implicit declaration blah 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 so this is an error coming from a, a header in the kernel somehow something is not really uh, okay in there and uh, we need to see if we can fix this so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, reuse in the same article the same uh, article i'm uh, going to copy paste these commands and since i am in this folder i want to create another folder and I'm going to go up and I'm going to download this file but with the dot one so the latest one which is uh, right now saved okay I do have the commands right here and I need to replace 17.5.1 okay then I need to cd change directory I'm going to change to 17.5.1 okay and in this case i need to check do the do they work or not i suppose this command will work correctly and i'm going to copy those yeah use this copy command to copy them into the vmware modules good let's see if this command works right now i'm not sure if it will work i'm really not sure so this is an experimentation that i will have to do okay seems uh, seems just fine yeah no now <coughs> we see that we have uh, the vmware services and two services are uh, failing and the reason why they are failing is that uh, these um, modules have not been registered yet with the current kernel practically whenever you are going to update the kernel we are going to need to run 
this command which I outlined, the outlined in uh, in my article so there are two commands one for the VM mo monitor and one for the VM network module <coughs> so what I'm going to do so if you follow the article you will see that at some point you need to generate two certificates and I do have them here but I'm going to copy them into my new folder into 1751 okay and uh, I'm going to run first this command for the VM module monitor module and okay it has run correctly now I'm going to run the second one okay um, this command will uh, not be necessary it will say that this has been already enrolled so practically this uh, command uh, uh, enrolls with the TPM uh, it enrolls the certificate with the TPM so that it will uh, start at uh, boot when you are booting the system so this step is not necessary at the moment and uh, let's see about the mod info do have they been loaded yet or not uh, I'm not sure if they have been loaded they are here okay VM net well I'm not sure if they have been loaded but uh, okay let's check it out let's check if the VM player works now VM player oh yeah that's beautiful so we are out of the error uh, now it should uh, run correctly and uh, if I'm opening open a virtual machine uh, if you are doing these steps practically you lose the list of the virtual machines but you should be able to find it well I'm not sure where was my virtual machine VM VMware I think in uh, Windows 10 okay and I'm going to use this one I suppose let's see if it uh, powers on okay I think I need to re restart the machine so um, so that it will it will uh, load practically correctly because right now it's it's known the modules are known by the kernel but they are not loaded and I think I need a machine restart good now I'm back from uh, my machine restart and uh, I didn't check it yet so it's really actually my first uh, try uh, I'm curious if uh, if my supposition was correct so I'm going to load the VM player and try to run the machine yeah now it's a different story right so we don't have the error anymore and we see that our machine is starting so perhaps there is also a way to load it uh, with the mod probe command but I'm not sure I I will not check that so I will leave it to, to you <laughs> So right now it seems that uh, I'm going to, yes, I'm able to run the, the Windows machine and uh, yeah, it uh, should be just fine. Network 6, yes, you can, I can allow that. Yeah, let's see if I can browse the internet with this within this machine. I suppose it should work uh, correctly okay I'm not interested in your edge version I'm interested in the internet let's see bing.com oh why are those uh, commands prom prompted up no okay search web vm mon yeah so the internet should should work okay and uh, yeah this means that the machine was running correctly and uh, we managed to get past uh, that error now on the other note uh, yeah i'm uh, also encouraging you if you are interested in tech stuff yes go over to afivan.com and this is my uh, my my personal blog where i post articles related to tech in general but uh, uh, with a focus on databases, with no SQL database, and also a bit of a SQL comparison, and uh, I also have articles related to Raspberry Pi, and uh, also try to have uh, uh, articles related to Ethereum uh, smart contracts, 
and uh, Node.js, JavaScript, uh, all kinds of uh, stuff. And uh, if you are interested in one topic in particular, just let me know and I can uh, write uh, more articles on that particular uh, topic uh, since it will uh, be also nice for me to learn uh, something, something new. Yeah, so thank you very much for uh, watching this and I hope it will be useful for you to solve this, uh, this, this error. Thank you and have a nice day.